Free rides on MTA buses are coming to an end as new measures are put in place to protect drivers. New York City Transit Interim President Sarah Feinberg says the fare box will reopen sometime in August. Starting in August at some point, we're going to start opening up that fare box again. Uh, and we'll work closely with our labor partners to make sure that we do it in a way that makes people comfortable. As fare boxes open, the MTA will add new barriers to the front to protect drivers from paying passengers. According to Feinberg, about 51,000 men and women operate the MTA Transit every day. Feinberg expressed the MTA's desire to implement measures that will keep these workers safe. I mean, what we're trying to do is make sure that we do everything we possibly can, everything that's in our control to make sure that we're keeping the system safe. With the beginning of phase three, MTA ridership increased from June 17th to July 1st, with bus ridership up 12 percent and subway ridership up 18 percent. While New York Mayor Bill de Blasio believes this is a good sign, he reminded New Yorkers to remember the proper safety measures. But very notably, mass transit usage is going up substantially faster than uh, car traffic. And that's in many ways a good thing and a good sign that people are feeling more and more comfortable and ready to engage. But again, do it safely. The MTA received $3.9 billion in funding from the federal government to aid with their financial struggle during the pandemic. Although ridership is increasing, the MTA requested additional funding to help with the decreased revenue. Reporting for BronxNet, Jericho Tran.